I always size my pipes where I'm like, I'm, I'm calculating it to run maxed out on every decent thunderstorm throughout the summer, you know, cause that's going to give it a really good cleaning. And I stay away from that oversizing of the system. I see it done all the time. I see guys using six inch where there's no, there's no reason to use it. You can run two, four inch, or I'd rather run a five inch before I ran a six inch again, you know, create a situation where the water is up in the pipe more and it's not making contact with so much surface area. Get more water that's not making contact with the wall of the pipe and is flowing up inside the pipe, whether that's a three inch pipe, a three and a half inch pipe, or a four inch pipe. That's how you're going to have a really efficient system that moves water quickly. Again, low flow application with four inch pipe. I'm going to beat your time. Doesn't matter what day of the week with a three and a half or a three. If it's a low flow application and these pipes mathematically can handle it, I'm going with one of these smaller diameters. I don't want a pipe that's just going to fill up with sediment and clog. Look, all these companies are out there with these service trucks. And they need to be because there's so much 4-inch pipe that's been put in for low flow applications.